Good morning, guys. It's Safety Sally out here in the woods again, and today we're going to talk about splitting on the ground and how to stay safe while doing it. As far as I'm concerned, there's really only two kinds of splitting. There's backed up splitting and there's unbacked splitting. Today we're going to do a little of each, and first to kick it off, we're going to talk about axe selection. Let's get at it. All right, so what I got here are two different types of boys' axes. On the left here is the Grand Fours, which is what we've been using. It has a head of about one and three quarter pounds, as opposed to the Council Tool Velvet Cut, which has a two and a half pound head. The weight in and of itself is significant, but what's even more important for splitting is this chunky wedge profile that the Council Tool has. That's gonna make a better splitter. However, this will split, you're just gonna have to get the head speed up a little more. So we'll use both just to prove a point. Um, this one also has slightly longer handle, 28 inches, which I prefer for splitting as well. But let's go over to the pile and talk about backed and unbacked splitting. All right, so what's the difference between backed and unbacked splitting? Pretty straightforward. What you do on a splitting block is backed splitting. You have something to back up your cut, which is not only a little bit safer, but it also tends to split the round easier because there's something backing up your cut and you don't have that inertia of the follow through. So on the ground, it's gonna look like this, where you take one round and place it firmly up against the other and then split like that. That's back splitting. What's unback splitting? Well, that's a lot of what you're gonna be doing when you're splitting on the ground with only using an ax because you have these chisel shapes. You can't stand them up on a log. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So to demonstrate here, we'll take this guy, pretty big piece. You're just gonna be swinging, at golfing-like swing, and there's nothing to back it up. So we gotta get the head speed up a good bit. That's unback splitting. That's a lot of what you're gonna be doing when you're splitting like this. All right, let me just work my way through this pile and talk about a few things as they come up. All right, before we even start, we might as well go ahead and talk about the frontal zone. Yes, this, above all else, is what's gonna keep you safe when splitting on the ground. Again, this is Dudley Cook's idea that this is the front of where our ax is gonna make contact with the wood and we want our feet to be behind that line. Of course, the further your feet are away from that, the safer you are, but you're also losing power. I mean, where you really wanna be is like right here, where you would hit a golf ball, but it's more dangerous there. So just keep in mind, the closer you get to towing this line, the more of a chance that it could ricochet and hit your feet. I'm not saying that I don't cross that line at times. Like I said, I'm guilty of stepping into my swings but you wanna make sure that your ax is gonna stick and make contact. The safest place to be is behind that frontal zone. So there's the frontal zone, I'm behind it. It's kinda of where we wanna be. Again, not the most comfortable place, but it is the safest. So much of staying safe when splitting on the ground is actually reading the round itself. Uh, take this piece for instance. I got a couple of really big knots, uh, but it's always safer to hit the round square like this on the chisel rather than to hit it like this to try to hit right on this chisel edge because it's more likely to glance. Again, so long as you're not in the frontal zone, that's not a big deal, but in this case, Trying to split like this, where I want to, is probably not going to run through this knot. So I'm either going to have to chip some off the side, or I'm going to have to pick a spot like this where I could run right through the grain. But that means hitting on this chisel edge. In that case, I definitely don't want to be anywhere near the frontal zone. Let's give it a shot. See what happened? It started to split and ran right into this knot. So sometimes rather than fighting these by trying to split it unbacked, it's gonna be much more efficient if you just go ahead and back it up. And I know um, Cook says in his 
book that uh, you should try to work your way through a pile without touching the rounds with your hands. And that's a good practice, but um, don't, don't be so dogmatic about it and get hurt. If you need to move the log and you know cut it backed, by all means, do it. Also, if you get a stubborn one like this, hit it a few times and if it don't bust stubborn. apart, move on to another one. Uh, when you get frustrated, you get careless and that's how you'll get hurt. All right, so this is another way you can split backed on the ground. You can make yourself a kind of ground splitting block, if you will. You just take a larger round, notch a V in it, and then you can take either half split rounds or full rounds that are giving you some trouble and back them up this way. The thing that's gonna keep you safe here is similar to splitting on a block. It's bending your knees, but even more important than that, it's pushing the handle down. That way, if you miss, the ax is actually aimed at the ground. So just push that handle down. I'm over exaggerating here, but uh, here, I'll try to demonstrate. See, my handle is pushed down here, so even if I miss, the ax is pointed that way. All right, let's give it a real whack here. I like to save my uh, really gnarly logs for a block like this. If they're giving you too much trouble, you know, move away from it. But uh, if you can't get them busted up, just save it for an all night burner. I think I can uh, bust these on the block here. So I got a couple of cracks started. I'm gonna swing for that. Finally. Well guys, yeah, there you have it. Uh, wood split and I'm safe this time. And that's about all I have to say about axe safety as far as splitting on the ground. Keep in mind that frontal zone, especially when you're uh, splitting unbacked. Keep your feet out of that area. And even if you miss, you should be safe. But if you're at all uncertain, go ahead and back up your cut, either with some kind of makeshift splitting block or just back it up with a larger round that'll keep your axe out of the dirt and that'll keep your feet safe. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and relax a little, cook up some bacon and eggs. Um, I'm gonna give the 100 subscriber giveaway a little bit more time so that a few more people can enter, but a lot of you have, so I'm looking forward to that, and I will be announcing a winner real soon. Until then, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. What the hell's going on? Is this Vietnam or something? The government's coming to get me. If you guys don't see me on the next one, you know what happened. I have no idea why the helicopter would be so low here.